Sarah. Tonight we are taking a little field trip to Mama Stampetti's Italian restaurant and some of you might have actually watched me build this thing earlier today on Twitch. I finished off and I ran out of stuff to stream so I thought what the heck I would stream my cooking with Sarah set up for the evening. So let me go ahead and get my this is the view that we have out here. This isn't this gorgeous. Oh. Okay. Whoops, I'm wrong way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let me get my hot bar back. All right. This is my Italian restaurant. Found a nice Origin Valley biome to build in. And here we have uh, our chef Mario and uh, this guy who's been dancing on the tables off and on. We have to watch out for him. Some of our fine local wines on the wall here. Little sky mural on the ceiling. And this guy is it. Yep, he's into the wine again. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can you. Okay, here we go. You've had enough. This is where the magic happens. This is our kitchen. And you notice I have, of course, all my standard appliances, my storage, a couple of arson furnaces, <laughs> a couple of frying pans, and the pride of the establishment, our brick pizza oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually work like one, but it looks cool and gives a nice ambiance and gives me a good story for the, the pizza that we're going to be making. This is our refrigeration room. I have the Mine Factory Reloaded Ice Bricks here and some shelves, some glowstone bricks to keep everything nice and cool and fresh. All right, so let's get down to it. The first thing we're going to start off with is pasta. So many of the dishes that we're going to make tonight are going to need pasta. Now you know how to make dough. It's flour, salt, water, and a cutting board, of course. To make it into pasta, you just take the dough, add the cutting board again, and add some butter and chop it up. You get a lovely selection of pasta there. Looks like some kind of rotini with some uh, elbow macaroni mixed in. Who knows? Okay. Before we get started on our entrees though, we're going to look at a couple of appetizers. And the easiest Italian appetizer here. Cool thing about Magic Farm, squid now drop... Oh crap! Did not mean to do that. Um, I'll just... Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that later. I'll just write it off as a tax expense. It's no big deal. When you kill a squid, you'll get the ink sack, and of course you'll get this here hunk of calamari. All you have to do is... why do I have that going? There we go. Throw that in. I guess I could have put it in the um, frying pan, but it takes longer that way. Get that charcoal out of there. There we go. And in just a minute that blob of raw squid will smelt up into a lovely little calamari snack. Doesn't restore a whole lot of hunger, but it is cool. Yum yum. Our other appetizer here at Mama Stumpetti's is our famous garlic bread. We keep bringing it to you until you pass out. It's just toast, and I believe I have some toast here that's cooked up. There we go. Throw that in there. Toast, garlic, and butter all there is to it. And then we move on to our entrees. Of course, you think Italian food, the first thing you think of is spaghetti, right? So you boil up your pasta, add just a simple tomato and basil sauce, and you get a plate of spaghetti. Now you can further augment that spaghetti with a little bit of pure beef and then you get spaghetti and meatballs. Of course, you can also make a chicken parmesan, which is, for some reason, the pasta has gone missing. We'll pretend it's there. Chicken parmesan cheese, which we uh, produce right here in Origin Valley from Happy Cows. Tomato, bake it up. Get your yummy chicken parmesan. There should also be some breadcrumbs in there, you know, to crust the chicken with. Now, Sarah, you're saying, what if I'm a vegetarian? That's okay, we've got you covered too. Aside from chicken parmesan, there's also eggplant parm. Now, there's the pasta, which is basically made the same way, except for the strange addition of a mixing bowl and the pasta. 
eggplant cheese butter. You can also have, I didn't do these ST zucchini, that's okay, we'll make it in just a second. We also make a lovely mushroom risotto, which is a bakeware mixing bowl, rice, either the growth craft or harvest craft kind will work, onion, cheese, and mushrooms. Now, pretty much any of your mushrooms, either your vanilla brown, your vanilla red, your white, uh, your portobellas, which are not in this list, but that's okay. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Pretty much all of your mushrooms will work. There's your white mushroom, your vanilla. That doesn't list the portobello. That's okay. I don't know why it's got three different recipes here that are almost all the same, but whatever. Anyway, pretty much any of your mushrooms will work for the mushroom risotto. Now the one thing that I forgot to actually put in the table is zesty zucchini. Let's see if I can remember it from, do it from memory here. It would be the bakeware, add in your pasta, your zucchini, a chili pepper, I think there's a spice leaf involved. Is it garlic? No. Is it butter? No. Maybe it's cheese. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, you win. That's just zucchini. There we go, zesty zucchini. Oh, I was close. Get the spice leaf out of there. Put the garlic in there. Whoops. Put the garlic in there, I said. And the cheese. And there we go. There is a lovely zucchini pasta for you. Now, if you still have room after all that food, that's okay. We are moving on to our famous brick oven fired pizza. Pizza starts off as a blob of dough, of course. To that you add cheese, tomatoes, and pork chops. A raw pork chop, which we would use to make pepperoni, I suppose. Now, if you want your pizza a little fancier, all you need to do is get out your cutting board. This is the tricky part, because you will want to use bakeware again. Take that pizza you just made and add a bell pepper, some onions, and some spice. And that is a delicious, hand-tossed, thick crust, mm, boy, pizza. Fired right here in our honest-to-goodness brick pizza oven that doesn't actually do anything. Okay, so you're still not quite full yet. That's all right. We got you covered. Unfortunately, um, none of the mods here have tiramisu as an option. But at least we can have a nice little mocha gelato. Just vanilla ice cream, which is um, involves salt and a bucket and milk and cream and all kinds of stuff. Like so. I didn't bother to put it in the t crafting table because it's kind of a pain in the butt. All that stuff goes into it. All you do is add coffee beans and cocoa powder. And that will keep you going. Well, let's head on back out here now and enjoy our view. Now that the sun's up, we're um okay. He's he's fixing the candle. I'm not sure what's happened here. Oh, I hope they didn't all climb up on top of the building. That would be awful. Hello, oh sir, sir, are you are okay? All right. Note to self: take the vines off the building. Health inspector is going to be out here any minute. Where did that that other guy go? He's probably long gone. Oh boy. Well, oh oh, sir, are you okay? All right. Well, that about wraps it up for our show today. As I'm sitting here holding this bowl of ice cream, nom nom nom. Uh, to answer a couple of questions that I've gotten, uh, in order to get 
some of the fruit trees if you haven't been able to get them by uh, trading or just finding them wild or what have you. There are a couple other ways to get those, at least the uh, harvest craft trees. Um, you can either write a mistcraft age if you happen to have found pages for a biome that you need to go to to find whatever it is you're looking for. Or, another thing, sir, you're gonna fall off of there. Another thing you can do, and I found this out completely by accident, I was trying to make some flowers to make my bees happy. You can just, let me go ahead and get back into, whoops, first person here. I'm going to hop into creative real quick. Fly over here. And get me some bone meal. I found out completely by accident that if you bone meal the ground, and it's not going to work on origin grass, darn it. That's okay. I think there's another biome over here we can go to. There we go. Let's just hop right over here. If you bone meal the ground, aside from your normal berries and grass and stuff, you will occasionally get a tree sapling. Let's see if I can get one to, to spawn here. Maybe, maybe. I'll get, it, it's probably biome dependent, I'm sure. I'm getting lots of, uh, oh, what's this? Get out creative so I can see what that is. Cranberry, okay. Yeah, this, mu this is, um, shield, okay. This is probably not the right biome to get actual trees, but, um, just try throwing some bone meal at the ground, see what happens. Chances are you will get some fruit tree saplings. Now, as for things like lemons and oranges and olives and nuts, those, unfortunately, are forestry trees. And for those, sir, please be careful. Oh, jeez. The forestry trees you have to get through tree breeding, which you have to get by um, having bees around your trees and running your saplings through a tree lizer and so that they will be properly recognized for tree breeding. Okay, sir, have a good night. Oh, uh, boy. Um, to be quite honest, uh, my experience with bees and trees is basically throw bees at apiaries and see what sticks. I've managed to get, on the uh, Myranium server, I've managed to get a couple of new trees bred, but I'm still, still figuring that out. Anyway, that is our show for the day. And as always, if there is any particular kind of cuisine you would like to see me do, just drop me a comment and let me know. If you have any questions about the mods here, I'd be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. Until next time, bon appetit. I will see you next week, folks. Bye-bye.